All right. In ophthalmology, one of the essential things is to know how to apply drops. Uh, it's very important that we a, keep the bottle sterile by when we open, not touching the nozzle. Secondly, it's very important when we apply the drop that we will ask the patient to look up. You can use both hands, or you can use one hand with a little finger of my right hand. I'm pressing on a lower lid, creating a larger inferior fornix, and applying one drop into the fornix. So that's the space in between the lid margin and the eye. By putting the drop in, I do not let go from the lower lid, because I would ask the patient to blink once or twice. The drop will be distributed all around the eye. And after 15 to 20 seconds, I would let go and ask the patient to blink again. At that stage, a little bit of a drop will be on her cheek and on her eyelid margin. And that can be wiped with a clean tissue. Now, if we ask the patient, if we put a drop in and let the lower lid go straight away, the moment the patient blinks, most of the drop is going to be out. So you never know how much did you get in and how much is out. We need only a little bit of that drop to stay for 20 seconds for active component to work. Second important thing is that we do not touch the eyelid margin with the nozzle of this drop because that's how the drop, bottle of drops can get contaminated. And a third thing is to try to prevent a systemic side effect of drop being absorbed. There is a nasolacrimal duct going from the upper and lower eyelid, nasal side, into the nose, and that's where most of the drops get absorbed, and that's where most of the systemic side effect comes to. So to prevent that, after pulling the lower lid down, inserting the drop, and asking the patient to blink, after a couple of seconds of letting the drop work, we will take a clean tissue, ask the patient to close the eyes, press in a corner where upper and lower canaliculus are, and apply reasonably firm pressure for roughly one minute. That will reduce the systemic side effect to a minimum effect. Now, one of, one of the problems is some drops like beta blockers, which can actually affect your pulse, affect your heart rate, affect your pulmonary function. And that's important to know that if you're applying that type of drop, that we apply pressure, instruct the patient to apply pressure after every use of that drop.